Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is October 11th, 2024. We are in the Old Testament book of Ezekiel. We're going to read chapter 33 together. All right. Uh, 33. We're, we're shifting a little bit here. Message from Ezekiel so far has been the wrath of God is coming. Repent. Well, the wrath of God is here. And, and now the message is repent and be part of the remnant that's going to be brought back. starts off by talking about watchmen and, and, and the role of the watchman. Look for danger and prepare the people for, to face the danger. And, and, and that pronouncement that is, as a watchman, that's Ezekiel's role, that if he doesn't warn the people, then, then when they're punished for their sin, it's on him. But if he warns the people and they disregard the warning, well, then he's done his job and, and all the punishment is on the people. Uh, talking about being punished for other people's sins or, or, or generational curses or all that nonsense. For, again, another passage where God re reminds us over and over again that, hey, if you are wicked and, and you repent and come back, your wickedness is forgotten. If you're righteous and you do something wicked, then, then you're punished for your wickedness. You are punished for your own sins. Nobody else's sins. section ends with, with, with Ezekiel's mouth being opened. Apparently he's been struck dumb. He's not, not allowed to speak when, when some of these things were happening and was told that when Jerusalem falls you will speak again. So he speaks. He knows Jerusalem has fallen. And our scene shifts to him in exile talking to some people that he's with and they're essentially saying oh now I knew it. I knew it. I knew those people were rotten and, and reminding them hey you know what God's wrath is still coming to us too. Yeah, you know we're still going to be punished as well. Uh, God loves Jerusalem, and 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 that's where the remnant is going to be brought back. So the message is going to start shifting towards that coming back in the remnant. So let's go ahead and we're going to read 33. It's kind of a long one. So let's start. If I can find the right page. All right. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of your people and say to them, When I bring the sword upon a land and the people of the land take a man from their territory and make him their watchman, when he sees the sword coming upon the land, if he blows the trumpet and warns the people, then whoever hears the sound of the trumpet and does not take warning, if the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be on his own hand. He heard the sound of the trumpet but did not take warning. His blood shall be upon himself. But he who takes warning will save his life. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, and the people are not warned, and the sword comes and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. So you, son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore you shall hear a word from my mouth and warn them for me. When I say to the wicked, O wicked man, you shall surely die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked man from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the wicked to turn from his way, and he does not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Therefore you, O son of man, say to the house of Israel, Thus you say, If our transgressions and our sins lie upon us, and we pine away in them, how can we then live? Say to them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways, for why should you die, O house of Israel? Therefore you, O son of man, say to the children of your people, The righteousness of the righteous man shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall because of it in the day that he turns from his wickedness. Nor shall the righteous be able to live because of his righteousness in the day that he sins. When I say to the righteous that he shall surely live, but he trusts in his own righteousness and commits iniquity, none of his righteous works will be remembered. But because of the iniquity that he has committed, he shall die. Again, when I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, if he turns from his sin and does what is lawful and right, if the wicked restores the pledge, gives back what he has stolen, and walks in the statutes of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of his sins which he has committed shall be remembered against him. He has done what is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Yet the children of your people say, The way of the Lord is not fair, but it is their way which is not fair. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, he shall die because of it. And when the wicked turns from his wickedness and does what is lawful and right, he shall live because of it. Yet you say the way of the Lord is not fair. O house of Israel, I will judge every one of you according to his own ways. And it came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity, in the tenth month, on the fifth day of the month, that one who had escaped from Jerusalem came to me and said, The city has been captured. 
Now the hand of the Lord had been upon me the evening before the man came who had escaped, and he had opened my mouth. So when he came to me in the morning, my mouth was opened, and I was no longer mute. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, they who inhabit those ruins in the land of Israel are saying, Abraham was the only one, and he inherited the land. But we are many. The land has been given to us as a possession. Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord God, you eat meat with blood, you lift up your eyes toward your idols and shed blood, should you then possess the land? So you rely on your sword, you commit abominations, and you defile one another's wives, should you then possess the land? Say thus to them, Thus says the Lord God, as I live, surely those who are in the ruins shall fall by the sword. And the one who is in the open field I will give to the boast to be give to the beast to be devoured. And those who are in the strongholds and caves shall die of the pestilence, for I will make the land more desolate. Her arrogant strength shall cease, and the mountains of Israel shall be so desolate that no one will pass through. And then they will know that I am the Lord, when I have made the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed. As for you, son of man, the children of your people are talking about you beside the walls and in the doors of the houses, and they speak to one another, everyone saying to his brother, Please come and hear what the word is that comes from the Lord. So they come to you as people do. They sit before you as my people, and they hear your words, but they do not do them. For with their mouths they show much love, but their hearts pursue their own gain. Indeed, you are to them as a very lovely song of one who has pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear your words, but they do not do them. And when this comes to pass, surely will come, and they will know that a prophet has been among them. May God bless the ring of his word. May God bless you. Bye.